What is going on, everyone? Commodore Les, and today brings us my live reaction of One Piece manga chapter 1038. Now, the chapter is finally out. We are back from break. We are here today to read the latest installment of the pinnacle of our literature. And listen, man, today is a good day, all right? It's Arceus Day, but before all of that, I gotta read the latest installment of the pinnacle of our literature as I should, man. Coming off last chapter, like, it's still was like lingering in my mind all the stuff that was going on with the luffy kaido which again that has seven star potential honestly like when you look at the choreography when you look at the paneling and i know we like to go out order sometimes for how he handles his double spreads and all that but just the way the fight has been done i've been loving every single bit of it and the translations depending on who which which one you read and everything right i felt like in ways it was kind of setting up possibly for Whenever we dive into Kaido's backstory and then with the Viz, it kind of just, you know, muffled those a little bit. But I do feel like a lot of the things that he was saying, like, you know, I can't protect this. This is how it was meant to be. Like, it, it feels like we're going to jump into it eventually. But I was not expecting the crossover to Mary Joa after the fact of the Gorosei. And then possibly alluding to what I would presume is Zunisha with the whole Delphru thing. Because I don't think it's going to be Luffy. Because I think it would be a little weird if it was the case. I mean, we got to understand with who's who. You know, with the, the Luffy's fruits. How it was taken by Shanks' crew and all that. Maybe that was the correlation. But I don't think that might be the case. I don't think it's... It could be Kaido, maybe. Because of the possibility of it being tied to like Uranus or something. But I think we already kind of know for a fact that it has something to do with the sky itself. So I don't know if that's going to be the case. But then with Zunisha popping up, it's like... We don't know. Like, I'm not a zoologist. I don't know my, my study on elephants. So I can't tell you for certain what exactly. Like, I know what's the the one with the crazy legs and stuff that goes down to the bottom of the earth. But if it did eat a dough fruit, right? I mean, it, will, it it's not swimming. It can walk around and everything, but whatever. But anyways, whatever it is Oda has cooking, I need to know what's happening. So let's find out what's going on in this week's chapter. Hopefully we get some answers. If we get a segue, I pray to the man upstairs it's not Rise on Fukurokuchu. Because listen, man. As much as I don't want to experience a Naruto play, I, I really don't want to move this now on the stuff we're getting right now, man. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Chapter 1038. Oh, oh, then you know what? I'll take the segue. I'll take the segue. I will take this segue right here. You see what the title of that chapter is called? Chapter 1038. Kid and Love versus Big Mom. Listen. I said, give me two world title fights to start the year off. And I understand you gave me a little bit of what's going on before. But, 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 I need a big mom either in the dirt or throwing off the top rope, a.k.a. the waterfall. I need it. I need I need this dub right now for Kid in Law. I don't care. I need it. All this feeding me from the rig we sh as we should, man. All right. Oh, okay. So not only is Oda feeding me, he's making sure consequences do exist. Whether we like it or not, they exist. Because even though we saw Judge, even though we saw Reiju, Goat, and we saw Ichiji, we did not see Niji and Yonji. And I see that big ass book. They've been captured. Let's see, putting right there on the side and stuff. Shout out to Sanji, and then of course, oven there on, on the uh, on the barrel and stuff. Or well, the crates, I should say. But uh, interesting. So that if that's really the, so. If that's the only consequences out of, out of all of it, then because we don't know what happened to some pirates if they got cooked or not. But let's see, German 66 Cold Blooded Voyage Volume Three: Niji and Yongji captured in Chocolate Town on Cocoa Island. Okay, so. More or less, I would have to presume that at some point in time, I think Judge and them have to go back to get them, or they're done. Like, I, it's kind of weird. Like, I, you figure, like, with family, you go back to your family, but, yeah, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, so they've been captured pretty much in the book and stuff, so, very interesting. But, yo, know, shout out to Pony. It's been a minute since we've seen her, so, hopefully it won't be the last, uh, anytime soon. All right. Castle interior third. Oh god! 
<laughs> Yo, Oda, that's sickening, man. How could you do that to me? I, I asked you not to focus, and you put... Oh, I hate this, man. You know what? If it's a page, anything more than a page, I'll be sick to my stomach. But it might still be clear in Naruto. Last interior, third floor, a fiery passion. The flames. Okay, in the anime, this might look raw, but like... Release your jutsu, Raizo, or we will both perish. Now, because I remember it was the paralysis and stuff that he placed on him, but uh, at the same time, it's like... See, this this actually, I don't... It's not as bad and stuff, because it's like, okay, you're watching these two burn to death or anything. Do I need to see, like... Like, maybe this should have happened at the very beginning of all these fights, and then it's like, okay, but... Happening now, when we're in, like, the world title fights, like, again, this is the Trish Stratus... Versus Mickey James match. Like I, I, I really didn't want to use that reference, but come on, man, this is what this is right now, man. Pants, 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 pants. Yeah, because he knows that like, the pressure is about to devour him after. Second floor, we must flee. It's a dead end. There is nowhere to go. Creek, the ceiling is coming down. Yeah, huh? Oh, and she, okay, so Jim Bay is there at the bottom and stuff. So he took her. So who's who has to be at a commission completely? Right now, right? For him to be here, he's out of commission completely. You're one of the straw hats. I thought there might be a few stragglers. Get moving. Quick. Pan, pan. Yeah, so basically, everyone get the hell out of that place. Because if that thing burns down, and well, hopefully, you know what? Then it depends what happens with Yamato, too. Because she's got to take care of business with the uh, explosives. Pan, pan. How is the fire spreading this fast? At this rate, countless... At this rate, countless are going to be bur are going to burn to death. Dying in battle would be less cruel. Right? I mean, the fact that burning alive, man, that's, uh, God, like, that's one of, like, the most horrifying things you ever want to go through. Like, a swift death, I think most people would, would uh, would be accepting of, but the torture of it all, like, nah. Life floor, all right. Get away from Big Mom. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Oh, Chopper Sensei. Where, where's my boy? Oh, he's on, oh, he's over here, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I forgot he's all tidy he's still <laughs> Oh, wait, he poofed? Hold up. Oh, what the devil? Huh? Hey, my boy poofed. Hey, let's go. Right back into prime form. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Thank goodness you've recovered. Uh, I'm back to normal. Those side effects made me withered and weak for a while. This is nothing, though. Hey, I love that for him, though. Because uh, the little tiny thing is like, man, come on. I'm more worried about Zoro Miyagi. That's right, the remedy he took. That super recovery also has a great cost, right? Oh, no, the wonder drugs about the kick in. All this, the damage he suffered will come back many times worse. I hope he's won his fight already before his injuries were so... Before his injuries were so bad, he couldn't move. If those wounds got multiple... If those wounds got multiple times worse... Zoro, please don't die on us. Well, if this is this wouldn't be Zoro if he wasn't in an arc where... He's nearly on the on the verge of death. And I would say this is going back to I would say Water Seven Skypea. Like if, if we go as far back, because I know like the the Mister Zero, um, the Mister One fights. He did get hurt, but it wasn't like it wasn't like to extreme where it's like you only have like one health bar left. Like literally, that's all. That's what it is for Zoro. So I would say right now, I would say one health bar, maybe half the health bar, because of. All the taxing of the, uh, the injuries and stuff. Basically, we got like the you know, Miyagi tax <laughs> being placed on to, on to Zoro. Huff, huff. Who the hell are you? What the hell? Oh my god, what in the hell? Bro, who put. Yo, who put. Yo, 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 who the hell are you? Bro, who, who told him to pull up? You went for the wrong guy. No, get, get go back to where you're supposed to be. That's not the door. That's the wrong door. You opened the wrong door. That's not no. Get, get back. Go away. Go away. Go away. What's happening to my body? It won't move. Stop. Get away from me. I was about to say if I was like broke or something because you see like the skull thing, but that's definitely not him. My boy don't walk around with the, no scythe or nothing. Dome interior right. How you flip me on that, man? And we're still supposed to be seeing the kid and the the law stuff going on. Dome interior, right brain tower. So where Frankie is, and then he should be not too far from where Zoro is. Out of the way. Uh, Zoro, you bastard, where'd you go? First floor of the attic. God damn it, why did a former Whitebeard commander have to help 
have to come and help those damn upstarts. Who, who's that on the? Oh yeah, it's like the I'm trying to make up the, the people here, but it's just the grunts. Yeah, so yeah, because so they're talking about Marco here. So why the guy that wanted a former warfare commander had to help and have to come and help those damn upstarts? Basements level one, and I think right there that's uh, Ezo. Hey, Ezo, the blood's coming down now, so the, his pain is still coming through. Huh? Oh no no! So wait, first of all, okay, and then it might have been Ezo. Then it, yeah, it might have been Ezo there because I think it would have been more specific if it was Marco. Um, yeah, no, I have to easel because you see it's going from first floor to the basement, so it's like it's a gradual shift right here. Huff, huff. I underestimated their numbers advantage. They may have been small fry, but they were still members of the Beast Pirates. Kiku, Kimon, I hope my actions allowed the two of you to escape. And he pulls the nine right away. He said, "Hold on a second. Oh, for God's sake, he's about to get smoked. Oh, he's about to get smoked. Kiku about to lose a brother." Kiku about to lose a brother, bro. I mean, this. I mean, Oda. We not. We not really about to do this, are we? Ah, oh, man. When men pull up with the mask on and the white coat, bro, fear them. Unless they're frauds, but not. But after what happened with Drake and everything, ah, oh, man. Cipher pull. Yes. We're from the Igis Zero branch. No, no, this kind of, they kind of wrong though. They kind of wrong. I, I, I can't like them. I can't like them because I'm trying to go after Robin, man. I will fight every single one. But they got a little bit wrong this though. I heard you were on the island, Izo. Let's pretend we never. Let's just pretend we never saw each other. We technically are meant to let you off the hook for being a member of a notorious crew. But we're currently got our eyes set on the straw hats. I'm sure we'll meet again. Stop. Not another step. CP0. Oh, Ezo. You know what he is? It's, he's thinking about what happened in Marineford with Luffy and them. And the stuff with Marco and then with Ace. Because I'm damn sure he heard the words that Marco said to, thing to, to Jimbe and all that. But even then, because of the value of what... Of what Luffy meant to Ace and what Ace meant to all of them, ain't no way he let that slip. Now, is he gonna get smoked in a two v one? Possibly. Who the hell jumps in? If Marco might have to come in. That's the only way Ezo survives right now. If Marco pulls up, and that if that's a tag team fight, by all means, because that's crazy. You go from one to sixteen. Think about that right now. A tag team match where the first commander and the last commander. That that wow. All right. So that's what you're setting up, okay. Basement armory. Oh, Yamato. Okay, I, can't, I won't be able to hate this chapter because I got Yamato on it, okay? Uh, at the very least, I know this within my soul. As long as I get Yamato in the chapter, it can never be bad. That I can say. I've got to make it. I've got to huff, huff. There it is. And you see the freaking... The thing is coming down, like crushing through. Hey, stop that. Please hang on. And it's like literally within, within inches. And she tries right away. Namuji Hyoja. And she bursts right through. And she burned down the bot. I don't know if it's a smart move though. If that gunpowder does goes off. We'll all be history. Sizzling. Don't touch it. Mahoroba. Oh, she about to do the Barry Bonds? Orochi-sama. A hand. Uh, what the hell? Well, she had, Did she cut it though? Mahoroba grown. Yes, no, she did. She did, but the excess is... Oh, protect yourself, please, at all costs. I know you, you had zone powers and stuff. I know you can regen, but please protect yourself, man. Please protect yourself. And then I have to go kill Orochi for, for wasting your time, all right? Live floor. Okay, now we have to begin stuff with uh, Big Mom, Kid and Law. Have mercy, Big Mom. They can't even move. If you... Uh, Ay, 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 ay. If you keep going, they're going to die. Please spare them. And of course, kids getting launched around. Pants, pants. Ha, your underlings are begging now. Captain, you two really have hit rock bottom. Mom, mom, oh my God. And all she did was take a year of her own lifespan. And she did all this, bro. 
I think it's a very good thing I didn't make my top 30 because we may have to put a little bit more respect on Big Mom for for from everything before this chapter, but even then with this chapter. Like, uh, there ain't no way that's the end, is it? There ain't no way that's the end. But they look completely wow. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. There better be more here because if this is it here, like there's no need to, to label a chapter with this title at all. Pants, pants, boss, get it together. Are you still breathing? Medics, we have to save the captain. Quit your belly aching. This is a battlefield, you pest. And she just goes and starts attacking everyone there. Tenma Jin Jin. Yes! Pants, pants. Now then, I don't think that Kaido has let out his usual victory cry yet. She's going to go to the top rope, isn't she? Don't tell me that puny straw hat Brad is still holding out alone. You better not be playing with your food, Kaido. Here, Hera, take me to the roof. Yes, mama. I'm beat. Let's finish this quickly. Oh, it's time. Oh. oh. And go to be trust. And go to be trust. And go to be trust. Let's go. I see the crew. I see the crew. When all else in doubt, crew out, bro. Let's go. Pants, pants. Anastasia. This is the end. And yo. Now let's go. It goes in the sing. No, he's on his Girichi Maru gimmick right there. No, he made that sword go zoom right in and pierced her right through the arm in the face. Oh, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, I don't give a damn. I need her out of here. I have been asking for this since the end of Okigon. I don't care how it happens, why it happens. I need it happen, man. Let's go. Yeah, mama. He killed him. No, no, no. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Trophy. What's with that huge blade? And pan pan. Like the last attack, you barely feel the prick. But what are you doing? Knock it off. Shock relay. At, yo, nothing. Like, you just see the hit thing hitting over. And she's feeling it. And then there's this blood gushing out complete. Oh, no. You better. Listen, Toei. Toei. You better not mess with this. I, look. Put the rate of 18, the amateur rating on the episode. We need the gore. We need the blood. We need all of that. All right? We need to see all of this. Her neck is just refusing the blood. That's a big woman, man. But she just gets hit and she goes down. How dare you, her mama? What the? Something. Oh, and of course, it's a kid. Because it's metal pieces. It's going to be a kid. So kid got it better to do a little bit more. I need a little bit more from kid. I can't, I can't just see ground pieces only. Pulling us in. Wow. I'm sick of these steel beams running their mouths. Just obey my magnetic fields already. You can still stand, kid? Pants, pants. Guess you kids are hell bent on taking my head. Ha ha ha, it's weird. I feel like I have a new have a new reason to keep fighting. I bet you anything, Kaido is reaching his limit up there. If you give it long enough. Even mountains can be worn down by rain. Oh, what? That's a line. That might be a far to have right there. Even mountains can be worn down by rain. Oh, hell no, nah, kid with the bars. Hey, man, there are grown men working nine to five disrespecting him, man. We need to stop with this nonsense. But but you, but you still, I need a little bit more. Here. They, they say you emperors are invincible. What a joke. There's no such thing. Punk Cornadio, and he just comes in with the big freaking mother right here and just bashes into Big Mom. It's a massive bull. Yeah, it kind of looks like it somewhat. It's even bigger than Big Mom in her giant form. Listen up, you hag. I don't care if it kills me. You're not reaching that roof. Oh, man. They're putting their lives on the line. The next issue, cover and color spread. Yeah, that I did her about. So, hear me out now. All right? This can't be the end. Like, we, we, the next chapter has to focus on the remainder of this. I don't give a damn. Look, I love what I've seen from Luffy Kaido, but you need to give me a part two. Like, I need to see it, it says Kid and Law versus Big Mom part two. 
right? Because again, a lot of the stuff that we got in the first half of this, uh, first half of the chapter was just seeing what else is going on with everybody, and you can't really call a chapter "Kid in Law versus Big Mom" and only give me half the chapter. So I will say it kind of retracts uh, from that. But the stuff that is setting up—I mean, we got Yamato taking care of the things with the bombs, Izo and CP Zero, which is very interesting because I do feel like if Marco is nearby, that's the tag team match we're gonna get, right? So that's happening. Chopper bring up the points that a lot of the Miyagi tax, the, the drug and stuff, in Zoro is about to kick in. And my man's seeing the Grim Reaper. I don't I doubt that's Brooke trolling or whatever because we know Brooke is with Robin at the moment. So whatever in the hell is about to happen right now, we need to see eventually. But next chapter, the focus has to be on this fight. I will say that if we don't get it, and we segue again, I'm going to be very annoyed because it's like, before we get to the end of Luffy vs. Kaido, this has to be taken care of. This has to be done. But they're saying to themselves, man, they don't care if it, if it means death. Even though I don't feel like Kid and Law are going to die in this arc now, I was a little bit feeling that there could have been a chance at the beginning of the arc and stuff because of the magnitude of what it becomes. But now because of seeing what's happening here, I don't think that's going to be the case. Like They're going to have to get Big Mom out of here at some point, whether if it's killing her off, whether it's launching her out of uh, Onigashima past the waterfalls and all that. Like, that's only two ways I can see it going down. So, whatever is going to happen now, like, if we're getting that color and, and center cover and stuff, it means we're about to get a huge moment in the story next week. And that being, of course, Big Mom possibly getting taken out of this arc or she's out of here. And she took some pain. Like, let's be honest here, man. The Kroom, the Shock Willy... Like, bro, most other people, let's be honest, a lot of these attacks that they're doing right now are killing people. So, the gods of the verse are taking damage as a testament right now to how dangerous this is. But Shadow Delta Law on his Guinea Chimaru gimmick, because I was not expecting that. Like that. Like, I was not expecting it. So, that's a gold moment right there for him. But on the kid front, again, I love my wrestling. I know some people don't. But I really need to see something crazy. I need to see something like, like that's gonna blow my mind. Cause I'm still waiting on that for Kid. I know he's just grabbing pieces together and throwing it. I don't know whether it's some uh, blood control, like you know, blood bending thing. I don't know what I need from him, but something with the metallic uh, fields and all that. I need something crazy though from Kid. Cause Law right now, I think he's shown enough for me that he can handle himself in certain regards, but. Again, I still don't even feel that's all that they have to offer. Like, if next week focuses on the fight and the end of it with the color page and all that, it's wraps. Like, straight up, it's wraps. So, I'm going to say this was... I want to say this was a very good chapter. I won't say it's amazing because that would have been like if we got the whole thing itself. But for everything else that happened in the first half of the chapter, at least it kind of moved things up a little bit and it had some interest into other areas, what's going on, aside from the rise of Fukuda stuff. Um, this was still to me a very good chapter at the very least. So I enjoyed it. It's the most important part. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below in regards to the chapter. Let me know how you guys felt about this week. Again, the title, oh, and even too, the stuff with the cover page as well. I'm, I'm curious to know from your uh, thoughts. Are, are, are Judge and the rest of Jerma about to just, you know, dip completely? Like they're going to leave uh, Niji and Yongji just pretty much to die? Or are they going to go back and try and, you know, save them and stuff? Possibly. Let me know how you feel that's all going to play on the cover story. Um, the stuff going on right now with uh, with Zoro. What do you make of all that with the Grim Reaper and like, you know, what what's gonna tail from it? The stuff afterwards also with Izo and Sipa Zero. Do you think that Marco's gonna pull up and get a tag team match briefly with the two uh, two sides? Let's see what's going on from there. And then the stuff here with Big Mom versus Law and Kid. Like, like next chapter. Do you believe that's what we're getting? If we're getting the color page and the cover of Jump it's because we're going to see the conclusion of this fight in particular, or we're going to switch it to something else. Because, honestly, I need this out the way so that our focus after is on Kaido versus Luffy. Like, that should be the main primary focus. But whatever happens next week, all I know is that Oda might come out and deliver a banger, as he should, as we near the climax soon for Wano. Whether that's going to be in the spring, which I doubt, whether it's going to be in the summer or the fall, wherever it is... The end of Wano is near, and we're here for it. So, comment or last signing off. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care.